if you're talking about perception, mm-hmm. point number one, perception is never reality. Now, isn't that interesting? Yeah, that's a really good this. point. I've done some ontological studies Because they this. often say per- perception is reality. That's the reality you believe to be true when you hold the perception, but it doesn't make it the actual reality. Right, well, it's right? never the reality mm-hmm. because we're always viewing everything through a set of transforms in our brains, right? So if I'm looking at something, visual purple in my eyes activated mm-hmm. by the photons of light and it's sending a signal through, you know, into the occiput of my brain, but... I'm not actually seeing the object. I'm seeing an internal representation in my brain that's stereoscopic and upside down. And, and upside it's inverted. Down. And yeah. So it, we perceive it as out there, which is rather interesting. And optical illusions are a case in point. Um, all of these things are our perception. But it's, so let's connect that metaphor well, to let's useful talk, yeah, real life. Transforms yeah. and subjective reality. Years ago, uh, many years ago in the 90s, I was in uh, Wasega Beach with... Three guys I knew pretty well. Uh, you know one of them. And the one you know was Kenny Upton. Uh-oh, and we yeah, were in, okay. The mm-hmm. other guy had a, um, he had a Mercedes convertible. Okay. And we're driving through, and Jagged Little Pill had just come out. And oh, I like Alanis album. album. So yeah. I put it on. Yeah. And the one guy was appalled. He said, you, you can't have this on right now with four guys in the car. Why? And I said, why? And he said, it's sending the wrong impression. It's giving the wrong perception. And he was he was so he had the, to he had the perception yeah. that it was sending the wrong perception, yeah. which is really weirdly meta. You know, do we have the perception that his perception was wrong I, about I, the perception? I know it's nuts. Now, but good it, point, right? You know that George Miller spoke of what is conscious and unconscious mm-hmm. with his magic number seven plus or minus two about nineteen fifty nine or something. Did you know 55. his middle name was Armitage? No, I did it not. Was. Know. It was I just George Armitage Miller. The yeah, the, the magic number seven plus or minus two right. representing the number of things that you can consciously hold in your awareness at any one point. Conscious in time. awareness. Like yeah. you're probably not aware of the feeling in your feet right now, but I am you now. can be aware of the sound of my voice and the fact that you're watching this podcast or listening to this podcast. And you, Chris, may not be aware of that deep aching in your spine oh. until now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scary? Cancel that suggestion. But yeah, and, but you, and we can force pe- people to become aware of things just by, just by talking about things like what school I went to back in Montreal. Communist martyrs. Well, immediately people are thinking, oh yeah, what school did I go to back in grade school? They'll think about Wexford. those things simply because we said things. Which You've directed that, their focus. You've directed their language. attention and brought things into conscious awareness we're activating the brain all language is manipulation he just made me say that by saying all language is manipulation now the key point here is what we perceive cannot be reality but is at Mm. best a fragment of reality i think that's a good point thanks man obviously reality is wide and encompassing much more than what we're thinking about at the time and and here's the problem people yeah so what this isn't very interesting actually it is because we act as though Mm -hmm. our perceptions are reality we all do it and when i say we all do it i mean you all do it you know that's a really good point because if you think about every argument you have with somebody every problem that you think is unsolvable in that moment these are all based on perception. Oh, for sure, right? man. Like, well, she thinks that I uh, said that. W- like, all of this for crap sure, man. Like, complex is based equivalence. on perception. The NLP aspect yeah. of complex equivalence. This means this. Mm-hmm. And I, when I was with my martial arts master years ago, we were at the CN Tower for supper at the top of Toronto oh, this restaurant, one. which is great. And I was sitting like this, and he said, mm-hmm. "Well, I can tell from your body language." The way you got your arms folded, you're close to the conversation and the topic. I said, "Nonsensical." I said, "Here's the reality." I said, "I've got tight trapezium here." muscles. When I put my arms like this, it stretches them out and gradually and better. I feel more comfortable yeah. with the neck problems I have. We, we've got to be very, very careful that we do not identify as our perceptions as hypnotists, as therapists, as human beings, mm-hmm. as reality, because usually they're wrong or incomplete at best. 